again, with the solid shapes here, we're going to use some of these funny, these funky colors yeah. here. And I'm going to start out with the pink. And it really doesn't matter which color combination right. you use. Just whatever, whatever you think looks good. With the retro stamps, going for funky colors is a really good move, isn't it's it? It's really popular. You yeah. need to have pinks and oranges and yellows and greens. I actually think that this complete set would go very well in mono monochrome as well, black and white. Oh, definitely. But you could stamp with some incredible man cards in the black and white, couldn't you? Absolutely. So again, I'm stamping a little bit of a random pattern, but you notice I'm off the edges yeah. of the card. Okay. Do you know, I'm sure I had a dress once that looked like this. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And I'm turning the, the shapes just a little bit, just to give some little bit more dimension. Yeah. Okay. And then finally... This is so nice to get some good ideas. This is the boomerang. Yeah. Boomerang was very important. I can remember seeing people. Also, some of these. Now, there's, there's this one. This sort of organic kidney shape, that was coffee tables. People had coffee tables. That's of right. Shape. And this one was almost a chair shape. The boomerang, there were chairs around like these. So they, they are all incredibly retro. Love these. Right, Actually, what's happening now? I forgot, to put the, I forgot to put the kidney shape in there. It's so in there now. He's, now he's in there. <laughs> okay. Right. Then the final thing is to take the black ink pad, and I'm going to use these retro stars yeah. here. And you can choose any one of the four. You can mix and match. Yeah. And just stamp that. I changed it a little bit from the sample yeah. card here. It's very nice. But these would make lovely stars, Christmas stamps as well. They're all multi-use. Oh, yeah. They? It, looks, it almost looks like a snowflake. Yeah. And then my last step here is to take the diamond glaze. Don't you just love diamond glaze? How many times do you? I knew you use it a lot, don't you? Diamond glaze, always so useful. And I'm just going to squeeze out little dots yeah. and a couple of big dots. We'll make a variety here, maybe in the center of the stars. Yeah. Just a random pattern. Random is good. I can do random. It's then, following instructions that are not so easy. <laughs> then the final step is to take my beads, and we're just going to sprinkle the beads on here. Yeah. It'll be a little bit tricky to keep them on, the, on my page here. You have a steady hand. They'd be all over the show if it were me. Oh, they might. They're, uh, they're starting to There's fall still time. over the shape, show here. <laughs> There's still time. And then just tip this, and then they're going to go back in the little tray. Don't you just love these little trays for control? Oh, it's wonderful. It's so much easier. And if you get the beads on your table, that's okay. You can just, you oh, can yeah. just brush them off and put them right back into the tray. Do you know, I honestly thought this card was going to take a lot longer. It's a really fast card. Yeah. This is one of those cards that you can, you can literally make it as you're running out the door to go to a birthday party. I think that's lovely. Look, there you go. All ready to the birthday party.